I wanted to create something that was going to celebrate your visit to London, you know, so I was looking into something, something that would represent the UK, all the iconography of London. It's like red phone boxes and buses and some pretty goofy shit, you know, it's like, <laughs> at first I was like, man, how Queens am I going to do this, you know, yeah, the Queen, and I was going through all of that, and then I figured out, well, actually, yeah, Britannia, that's the big, you know, the kind of goddess representation of, of the UK, so I, I kind of went with that. Britannia rules the waves, and I thought, well, maybe it would be a cool thing if you have Britannia represented, but she actually worships Cthulhu, who actually really rules the waves. <laughs> 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 so I thought maybe on her, of course, on her helmet here, just a, just subtly, the helmet is made up of this emblem of Cthulhu, and you've got his wing coming off the back here, and he's creeping over. What I love about it is it's got a female in it. It's a combination of a lot of different cool stuff. I mean, yeah, obviously flags and snakes definitely camoed in there. I mean, everything seems to, to work well with, with each other. <coughs> it's interesting you pointed out that it's got a female in it, because that's something which I found, when, I, when you're given an open brief almost to, to create something um, under the Metallica banner, you, it's not until you come to it, you suddenly realize actually, over the years, you've refined a really clear vision of actually what the visual aesthetic of the band is. Mm. And it's, once you start straying too far from it, it suddenly feels, it, it doesn't really necessarily marry in. And um, I, so I was kind of apprehensive. I was, you know, I've done a lot of female figures in the past, and I thought, actually, does, is this going to fit in? Which is why I thought it's important to bring these elements in. You know? mm -hmm. and, um, well, I'll tell you, when I first looked at it, I thought it looked American. Yeah. Yeah, very American. Like, that's an American Indian. Here's a wrap. You know, here's the oh, you yeah, know, nice. snake from yeah, yeah. all that. And so, I guess we can be friends. <laughs> <All right. laughs> there you go. I mean, to me, it was, there's like a, I don't know, some kind of celebration too. This reminds me of like a celebration. And this is rain to me. Maybe, yeah. Maybe not, but. If it's in the UK, it probably is. <laughs> Every time. Celebrating in the rain and you don't, yeah. Very cool. Well, I love, I love the piece. As an artist, when we get into our craft, the world goes away and you get it's like a tunnel vision or you just yeah. you forget about thing the clock stops i mean time stops and you're into what you're doing but you get into a groove and you get into a thing and at least for me when i'm drawing when i'm doing that stuff it's so soothing yeah. <laughs> you know i know it's it's almost like you get into this ocd mode and it's like i I don't really have to do this, but I'm gonna do it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I can't stop now. I just I just do it and do it and do it and do it. I mean, I just love the detail and getting lost. Uh, we've been real sticklers about the logo, you know, the logo goes on top and it always has to be yeah. and it, but it fits well around whatever you're going to do. Um, but I, I think this thing is beautiful without that on it. Well, for me, for me though, one of my, one of the great pleasures Cheapened me, it by this, whatever that is, that the big, Kanye West logo. Uh, no, 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 because for me, the great pleasure for me is being able to redraw the logo each time in a different, in a different way, you know? Right. It's like, every time I sat about it, it's like, okay, it, it's just a, it's a privilege to be able to redraw it and then kind of reimagine it. It looks like something that you draw on your school, on your school uh, project book, on the outside of your book and be like, fuck yeah. And I was like, there, okay, great, we'll do it. That's what it should be, you know? So your workplace, what does it look like? You kind of described it. You know, whatever you find out there that's just cool and you in. just, and you set it there and just like, you know, my office or my music room, there's all these things mm. and they're just, they're just inspiring and people come in and think, it's all this crap, you know, yeah, it's all this junk. But, but like, I pick something up and look yeah. at it and, you know, the you know the shapes that are formed in nature even in i picked up honestly and i just like a single piece of grass the other day and brought it home and i carried it right across the hill and it was just <laughs> sprouting up but it made this beautiful display huh. and i brought it home and i showed my wife and i said i was like look at that isn't that is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen and it's just, it's one of billions of blades of grass and i just picked it up and studied it and when you look at it i could never come up with that perfect arrangement and the flow of mm. that shape you know and it's like that's that's what keeps you going because you're like okay 
If I can ever draw something as good as that, you know, and ever achieve that flow and shape to it, you know, that's the kind mm -hmm. of, yeah, that's the kind of uh, approach I'm taking to it. So skulls and a blade of grass. Blade of grass. Yeah. <laughs> doing stuff on black. I mean, maybe talk about that. Obviously, it's different than doing it's ink a, on white, it's right? A, it's a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why it's a nightmare. It's because when you've drawn it, it might just flood out into black, but then you've got to kind of cut it off. It's all this. There's a whole process. Like the actual pen and ink drawing is just a piece of the puzzle, and to me, the screen print is the final. The yeah, I mean, it's a whole nother art form figuring out how it's going to pop, how it's not going to bleed, yeah. and all that stuff. You know, something's coming out of the dark instead of something's black on a white canvas, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. You know, there's, everyone's got to have some kind of meditative thing that chills them out or, or opens them up. Or it turns you into a giant ear where something's gonna tell me something. I don't know what it is. Yeah. And what is, what am I looking for? Nothing. Do you obsess over one thing at a time though? Because I find I'm very, I'm not good at multitasking my mind, so I'll go out with just obsessing over this or whatever the current the concern is, you know, and then that, that'll just drive me kind of crazy, just that one thing. Absolutely. And I find it hard to break out of it or. Think of someone asked me a question about something else. I'm like, wait a minute. I used to, I'm assessing this one thing right now. I cannot think about this other thing. So. Right. Well, at least you're nice about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it drives my family crazy. You know. Yeah. You know, someone's asking. You know, we're out to dinner, ordering something, and I'm. You know, my. I don't know what I look like because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere else. Yeah. But I know exactly where I am or what I'm doing. Because I'm thinking about a song, and it's yeah. the tape is playing, and then there's some other noise in the way. That's my family asking me, "What would you like to eat?" The guy's right here, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, oh, oh yeah, I come out of the cave, yeah. you know. It's, I'm, but I could be in the cave anywhere, you know. So you come out of that and you join in the moment. Not by any means is it a bad thing to be able to go into Funny that space. Funny thing with it for me is that I get that same thing. So you've got it, it's like a backdrop in your mind at all times that you're trying to solve this puzzle. So for you it might be you've written a song to a certain point and then you get to the middle late break or whatever and then you're like, and what's the next part? How does it link back? How am I going to get back here? Mm -hmm. This puzzle is just confounding you. And you know, my wife will say to me, she's like, but this seems, you know, you're just punishing yourself. You seem to be, <laughs> you seem to be angry all the time about this problem you have with this thing. Even when you finished it, you kind of hate it. And I'm like, yeah, but that's not, it's still a compulsion I need to see through. Even if I do, I don't really hate it. You know, I'm, maybe I'm just investing everything I've learned in this one into the next one. And you know, it's a continuous process of, of evolution. And I definitely can't not do it because mm -hmm. I don't know what would happen then, you know? But very often I could come back to realizing it was a way of letting out a lot of things, you know, growing up where, you know, I might not have been very confident to, talk to people or engage with people or let certain things out in other ways but that was a way of that was kind of my voice you know yeah. those are your lyrics right there that's your music and I love it and I'm glad you do it I'm really glad you do it Lay beside me. this won't hurt I swear the, when you said it's like a puzzle it truly is but it's like a puzzle that's working out and I, I'm not really doing anything it's 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 going over and over and over you know I'll, I'll go to bed with something I'm thinking something go to bed and wake up and it's still there yeah, yeah. wow did this tape run all night I mean right. was it on a loop what you know, where, where it's like is a this going screensaver in the back of your mind isn't it, it kicks pretty back much. In every time you know? it's just there yeah and then all of a sudden something will attach to it and I, oh, okay, there's another little link of the chain or the puzzle piece. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and then slowly, you, you just kind of explained how ideas come about for yeah. me. That's pretty cool. Journey or destination, which, which is the most important, which is the driver? It's like, yeah, when you look back, you're like, oh, actually, I realize I've, I've learned a lot on the way, but um, new challenges have presented themselves themselves the whole time so just that alone makes me realize it's 100 percent 
about the journey because you'd, you'd be a fool to think that you're ever going to sit back and be like, right, well, I did it. And I've got, I figured it out. Now I'm just going to draw that for the rest of my life. And I'm like, who, who would want to do that anyway? You know, so. Well, I agree too that, uh, you know, I was telling myself that the journey is the destination, that enjoy this moment. Mm. And there's a human part of me that is driven by the destination that. Mm whether it's OCD or something that's, you know, you have to get there. But, and once you'll get there, it'll be great. You know, yeah. all this will make sense. And like you said, realizing that, what does sense mean? I mean yeah. Once it makes sense, then what? You know, the chase is better than the catch. All of these catchy phrases that are out there that are explaining this, this thing, mm -hmm. you know? Chasing what? But the journey is definitely something I'm trying to enjoy more. When you're done with it, then what? Do you do you bow to it? Do you whew, take a break? Do you go, yes? So or do you throw it away? Here's you know? the funny thing that I specifically do. I've seen friends of mine who are illustrators who will display their own artwork in their houses, mm. which to me is crazy because I <laughs> cannot do it. Mm. I don't have a single piece of my own work on display anywhere. And what I, I actually do is <laughs> 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 what I actually do is I'll put in the moment it's done, the moment it's, that it's signed off and sent, I'll put it in a drawer and just forget about it. And I won't look at it for like a year. That makes a lot of sense to me. Because that's what happens with yeah. with a song. You yeah. Know, so after would a you song, want to listen to it immediately after finishing it. Well, you've been working on it for a year. Uh, no, I'm, you lose I'm perspective done. to a degree. Totally you know? learn, lose perspective, and I'm also, I'm, I'm I want to do something else. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to move on from it. But then coming back the year or more later and listening to it, going, wow, I don't even remember doing that. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs>